I'm Holly Hamilton, and you're in the Garden TV studio, and I'm with David. And I'm just going to butcher your last name, so you're going to have to help me out. Mizajewski. <laughs> Mizajewski. Yes. Super media friendly, no. Yes, <laughs> and now you're with the National Wildlife Federation. Correct. Tell me what you do for them. So I'm a naturalist, which is somebody that knows a lot about nature yeah. and wildlife and teaches other people about it. Um, the difference for me is that I do it in the media. So I do lots of TV appearances, lots of radio, I blog, I write for magazines, and I use those media platforms as a way to reach millions of people and get them excited about conservation and helping wildlife with the National Wildlife Federation. I see. So you're kind of like the face of the National Wildlife Federation. They, they send you out to, you know, pump up. Pump exactly. Up the people. Me and Ranger Rick, <laughs> Raccoon. Oh, oh cool. who, yes. Who, of course, is our mascot. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, do you actually bring rain? I mean, does Ranger Rick even exist? In, Ranger Rick, in um, a we tangible do, form. <laughs> yes, we do have a, a tangible form, Ranger Rick, who sometimes comes out to events. Um, oftentimes, I do bring live raccoons onto my TV appearances. Wow. So, unfortunately, I don't have any here. <laughs> yeah. So now, when you go out and you educate the public on what you're you're doing there, mm -hmm. what what are typically your topics of conversation? Well, I'm, one of the biggest ones is gardening for wildlife, which mm -hmm. is what I'm here at the Flower Show to talk about. I just okay. did a session right. on how we in our own gardens can restore a little bit of nature and make the planet a, a little bit of a better place, literally right in our own backyards. So would that entail growing certain types of vegetations that would attract a certain type of animal or detract a certain type of animal? It's both, actually. Uh -huh. um, sometimes people think, you know, when we say a wildlife-friendly garden that the National Wildlife Federation is saying, invite every kind of animal, you know, big, small, mountain lions, bears, venomous <laughs> snakes. No, it's not about that. It's about right. teaching Within people <laughs> yeah, about what they can plant. Um, absolutely, it it's, starts with the plants because that's how Mother Nature feeds the wildlife. Right. Um, and that's why this is a gardening program for us. And um, if you plant the right things and you know you design your garden with a little bit of a natural feel to it, mm -hmm. you have you know a fresh water source, and you can attract birds and butterflies and some of the smaller critters that are good to have in your yard. But we also do teach people how to avoid conflict with animals like the raccoon, right? Right. Because not everybody wants a raccoon in their yard. No. <laughs> but it's easy to sort of live in harmony with most of those species as long as we do a few simple things. Like with raccoons, just keep your trash in a bin with the lid on, don't put it out until the morning of trash, mm -hmm. things like that. Make sure you critter-proof your attic so that animals can't get in there and you really won't have any trouble with the wildlife. Right, now in the Pacific Northwest, of course, there's a lot of deer population mm -hmm. in residential areas. Yep. What do you say to folks about having, say, that type of a, an animal in their yard? Because sometimes it's, it's dangerous to have these beautiful creatures running around the street and... Yeah. Um, well, the, my snarky answer is um, don't get mad when you see coyotes because the coyotes are you know, a natural predator, at least of young deer. But, right. but uh, more seriously, though, um, yeah, deer... <laughs> Your snarky yeah. answer. <laughs> deer um, are an issue. I'm from back east, and uh -huh. white-tailed deer are a dime a dozen mm -hmm. um, where I'm from. And, um, yeah, it can be a, 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 both a problem in the garden just from an aesthetic point of view because they like to eat everything. Um, and also, yeah, they do get hit by cars, and there's a safety issue there. Um, I mean, if you want to keep deer out of your garden, the, the only thing that you can do that's totally foolproof is put in a huge fence. Yeah. So part of it is learning to accept that these animals are there and yeah. that they are going to eat your plants. Um, if you have prize plants, maybe put some fencing around them, um, things like that. And um, in the big picture, though, the answer is always about supporting a good, healthy, natural ecosystem mm -hmm. with checks and balances. So that's where the predators come in and things like that. So, um, But fortunately, for the most part, um, you know, you can... If, you're, if you do it enough, you can learn how you can garden in harmony, even with deer. Perfect. So if you had one piece of advice for folks, if, what is something that you would want to impart to our viewers? I would just say um, for folks to envision their garden as a thriving natural ecosystem, no different than you know the, the rainforest mm -hmm. or Yellowstone National Park. The same things that are going on there, the same food chains, the same sort of interactions with the wildlife, that happen in a wild area are already happening in your yard. Mm. If you just go outside and get involved a little bit and start observing and maybe planting some good native plants, you're gonna start seeing it. And once you do, you're gonna be totally hooked. Nice, well thank you. And I suppose folks, um, I've heard folks can see you sometimes on Chelsea Lately and on Conan. And yep. you're just the man about town there at the yeah, so <laughs> I do a lot, I do a lot of TV appearances. So um, if folks want to find out more, they can go to my website, which is naturegeek.org. Okay. 
Okay. And you can see my upcoming schedule of where I'm appearing. You can see clips from my uh, past appearances. You can learn all about how to get involved with the National Wildlife Federation too. Thank you so much. And this is, this is good that, that, that you are able to promote your business in, in such a fun way. So thanks for taking time out to talk with us. You're welcome. I'm Holly Hamilton and you're watching Garden TV.